Hey guys, Ben Plays here. Welcome to episode 5 of The Great Ace Attorney. Let's get right back into it. Um, Alright, if if my spacebar would work. Oh, that works too. I think that henceforth we can consider the matter to have no bearing on the case. Counsel for the defense, are you in agreement? Um, well, I don't know really. If you want to pursue this matter further, you're going to need to show that it has some deeper significance. Yes, you're right. So she took the glass away in her handbag. If there's a deeper significance there, it's... The handbag, obviously. Wait, the lady put the glass in her handbag, you say? Yes! Do try to keep up. It's already been explained to the court that all English gentlewomen carry handbags for small items. <laughs> Let me see. A little while ago, Miss Brett stated the following. There are no pockets in my outfit. I have nowhere to hide a gun. But, what she forgot to mention was her handbag. In which it would be perfectly possible to conceal a gun. <laughs> You're right! Well done, partner. I had a feeling you'd pick up on that as well. What are you insinuating, you vile blackguard? Hey, counsel, isn't that supposed to be blackguard? It's very simple. I'm pretty sure it's always been black. Um, and time I've heard it. The gunshot was heard when the defendant picked up the gun from the restaurant floor. As he didn't fire that gun, we can deduce there must have been another firearm at the scene. The true murder weapon, if you will. Your sound is breaking up a little bit. You can't oh, seriously not, be not. suggesting. Inspector Hosanaga. Mm, yes. <clears throat> did you or did you not search Miss Giselle Brett's handbag on the day of the murder? Mm -mm. No, sir. I did not. As I thought. In other words, another gun, the one that was actually used to kill the professor, could have been hidden in Miss Brett's handbag. No! Order! 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 I will have order! I'm gonna hold you all in contempt! What is the meaning of this, Inspector? The meaning of what, Prosecutor Rauchy? Hmm. Why on earth did you not have the lady open her handbag and show you the contents at the time? Because Thanks I'm to your bungling incompetence. incompetence, now she has to endure these uncomfortable accusations. Stop simping for her! That's sweating bullets. Simp, 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 simp. Brilliant work, partner. Now we have a chance to expose the real woman behind the mask. Do you, you think so, Kazuma? <laughs> sorry, tuberculosis. Thanks. <laughs> well, what a sorry situation. <laughs> well, what a sorry situation. Clearly, you have no faith in the police. Well, when's the last time they released a good album? He's As bleeding. I said. Yes. I'm, I'm pretty sure he's got tuberculosis. As I said, I did not search the lady's handbag after the shooting. Or some sort of cancer. Whatever. Like, lung cancer or something. I don't know. Simply because... It was unnecessary. What? Unnecessary in what way? Mm -hmm. I ought to thank the student... Bleh. I ought to thank the student lawyer, really. <clears throat> That's just him wiping the oh. blood off. 
I have a piece of evidence here that I had completely forgotten about. Well, how convenient! This photographic print. Look at this photograph! <laughs> This print is of a photograph that I thought would be prudent to take immediately after the shooting. Oh, she got a see-through handbag? As you can see, it clearly shows Miss Brett's handbag. What? What uses that thing? It's got holes in it! Well, I... <clears throat> well, I never! You can see right through to what's inside. Yeah, how are you gonna hold you? I carry your house keys. I mean, car keys how, aren't a thing how? yet, but... That's right. And I don't think clear plastic had been invented yet. Apparently, mesh work bags like these are the height of fashion in London at the moment. You call that mesh? Hmm. So the contents are clearly visible. Seems kind of convenient for the cut purses and thieves. Exactly. So there was no need to search the lady's handbag. If there had been a gun inside, it would have been immediately obvious. Tell that, tell that to the guy in Mission Impossible that that like disguises a gun in pieces. I swear to God, if that's a, if that's an actual thing that they do here, ah. As you can see, there's nothing to imply Miss Brett's guilt here. Thank you for helping me prove that, Narahodo-san. Hmm. Wow! That depends when the picture is taken. Order! Order! I'm gonna order some more drinks for myself. Inspector Hosanaga, will you... Inspector Hosanaga, you will submit that print as evidence at once. It's called a photograph, hmm. your honor. Certainly, Your Excellency. <clears throat> Photograph the handbag. Let's take a look at this. I think you've had long enough to cross-examine the witness, Council. Okay. I don't think so. I, I just wanted to take a look at this. Oh, wait. Whoa. What I'm not saying shit. What is that tattoo? What the hell is that? Wait. I guess that might be his astrological sign. What the f- What? No. That's a- Hang on. That's from the- What the- Okay. Is he a Taurus? Um, I want to show you something else. <laughs> I don't know how this is relevant. Oh! Oh, if that's cast iron, then oh sh! <laughs> I just had a thought. Holy cr oh! I I oh. don't know where your thought went, but um, pain, lots of pain. The yeah. court has now been shown considerable evidence. What I mean is, is that thought going to help me win this case? I have I haven't the foggiest idea. <laughs> Me either. Knowing knowing these games, there's probably a connection. Hmm. Yeah. There's the we wouldn't graphic. just throw that there for no reason. You True. might be right about that. As the photographic print just submitted into the court record appears to have no further significance. Mm -mm. This photograph. I am satisfied that there is no longer any room for doubt in this matter, and I must needs make my ruling. Don't, don't, God. don't make me, don't overuse that joke before we even get to use it properly, Colton. <laughs> I guarantee this you there's going to be a to line it. where it says, look at this photograph, like, in that hey, way, friend. and we can use it. <laughs> Indeed, hey, the and there's friend. only one logical hey. conclusion. Hey. <laughs> that the pathetic rookie slumped over the bench before us is the only possible perpetrator of this crime. No. 
No! No! Just when I thought I was beginning to turn things around. I'm in a worse situation than I was at the start! Oh, even oh, Kazuma! No. Oh no! The band stopped! Kazuma! The what stopped? His headband stopped flowing! That means Finally, she got someone real. closed the window! <laughs> dot 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 dot! Hmm. I'm sorry, Ryunosuke. Someone closed the window! Now that the cross-examination of the witness is over, there's no way to force the trial to continue. What if we found something? What if indeed? What? You mean this is it? Dot 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 dot! <laughs> I must say, you put up quite, the, quite a fight for a rookie student. But the weak are meat while the strong eat. I have literally never heard that phrase in my life. Never. And I don't think I'll hear it ever again. <laughs> you are wasting your time! There is no way to defeat true justice! A fact you can chew on to your heart's content from the inside of your cell. This can't be happening. This can't be happening! Am I really going to be found guilty of a crime that I didn't commit? And Kazuma... His dream of going to study in Great Britain will slip through his fingers. Kazuma... What? Is there really... Is there really no chance now of turning this trial around? You heard the judge. There's nothing about that last photograph the detective produced that we can contest. Yes, there is. Which means there's no basis on which we can argue for the trial to continue. There's something very strange in that photo. Dot dot dot. <laughs> Very well, I'll proceed immediately to the ruling, and then another drink. <laughs> it seems we'll, we will be able to report to the British government on time after all. Oh yeah, there's also this thing where they're, um, where they have to re report to the, um, report the results to the British government quickly. That, that's I guess somebody opened the window again. <laughs> Ryunosuke Naruhodo, having considered all yes. the evidence placed before- Wait! Your Excellency! Ryunosuke? I don't think you can rule on this case yet. Attention! This amateurishness is getting tedious! Is that even a word? Maybe. When His Excellency deems that the trial is over, he gives his ruling. <clears throat> that is the most basic protocol of the courtroom. Yeah, and that hasn't been broken in an Ace Attorney game before. Yes! Right? <laughs> yes! Your Excellency, just a moment ago you said this. As the photographic print just submitted appears to have no further significance, there is no longer any room for doubt in this matter, and I must make my ruling. Now that means that if there was a problem with the evidence, some significant detail I mean, then ruling on the case at this time would be out of the question. Attention! This is blatant straw clutching! Look at this photographic print! Just say it! No, just say the words so I can do the thing! <laughs> all, it all it shows is the handbag the gentlewoman was carrying on the day in question. There can be no problem with this evidence. Hmm. You better know what you're doing, Ryunosuke. Hmm. I understand your objection, counsel. Certainly, the new evidence submitted by the detective hasn't undergone the court's scrutiny just yet. However, I fail to see how we can glean any new information from this handbag. Ha! My fault!
thoughts exactly? Really, the prosecution is becoming tired of this rookie's desperate wheezes. Yes, I am desperate, but this isn't a wheeze. There's something about this photograph which just doesn't seem right. If only I could put my finger on it. Very well, Pilgrim. I'll grant the defense one final opportunity. What, are we getting to case five type stuff where it's like... One last not... opportunity? Yeah. Ooh. If, like, Be is this five penalties at once if I get this wrong? Trust me, I'm so, not gonna oh. get it wrong. But is this gonna be He's five? He skipped a line. He skipped two lines. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Oh well. Uh, the gist of it was, but be warned, if I'm unsatisfied by your response here, the trial will be over with immediate effect. Do I make myself clear, Pilgrim? Yes, Your Excellency. So, take another look at this photograph Inspector Hosanaga submitted before. You will identify for the court where in this print we see the significant detail which you told us about. Uh, I pressed spacebar. Why is it? Oh, R. Physical difficulties. <laughs> Sorry, my dong and rampa. <laughs> Sorry. Got in me. That's my problem. Look at this here. There's a very unusual mark on the victim's wrist. Yeah, it is true. It looks almost like a burn of some description. Attention! Dear me, I was pondering what new piffle you would come out with. A burn, you say? On the victim's wrist? Clearly that has nothing whatsoever to do with the magnificent lady's handbag. <clears throat> yes, that is a burn mark, you're right. Hmm. Okay. Go on, Inspector. Hmm, the police coroner also noticed it when he was performing the post-mortem examination. Yes. It was deemed unrelated to the cause of death, so he didn't note it in his report. <sighs> okay. What did I tell you? <laughs> I swear to fuck, if it turns out that that was the cause of death, like that, that, like that's just gonna be so stupid. And I, I'm sorry. It's like, oh, I missed a line. Let's see. In any case, we have no idea when the victim suffered this burn, do we? And no possible way of knowing either. Oh, I think we can. I think, I think we have a pretty good guess. Yeah, the more I look at it, the more I find myself intrigued by the curious shape of the mark. Uh, but that might be the liquor talking. However, as Prosecutor Ouchie points out, unless a firm connection to the case can be shown, <laughs> I cannot allow any further time to be spent on the precise details of this burn. Yeah, I think you're guessing... <laughs> I think your guess and mine might be the same. <clears throat> yeah. Excuse me, Your Excellency. It would seem Miss Brett has a lunch appointment with the Dean and other university staff. Hold it. Hold off. She on would it. like to know if she may be excused from the stand now. Oh, of course, of course, dear lady. We shan't hold you up any longer. I'm quite sure His Excellency is about to give his final ruling anyway. Dot 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 Pilgrim. What is your thinking on this, Ryanosuke? I object! I object! I object! I object! I object! Could this devastate into your case? Yeah. To be honest, I'm not really sure. Yes, it does. But if I don't keep pushing, then it's all over and I'm dead. Oh my! So I was thinking I should keep digging and digging, in the hope that I might uncover something useful. Ryunosuke doesn't even want to be a lawyer. He's just kind of yes. stuck in it, and he's just representing himself. Yes, you're right. I am? If we can just link that burn to the case... If we can do that, we might be able to prize the shutting door back open again. 
just give up, Council. Front. You can't possibly hope to do that. <laughs> Indeed. I'm afraid without evidence, I can't allow you to pursue what is little more than conjecture. You allow them for the prosecution! But if we had evidence... Evidence that irrefutably linked the burn on the victim's wrist to the case, then you would allow it? I would, yes. To tell the truth, I hadn't noticed that burn. But as soon as you pointed it out, what I did notice was the color draining from Miss Brett's face. She had any in the first place? <laughs> oh, that was a Ryunosuke line? Really? I have to find some link between that burn and the case. <sighs> this is the moment of truth. It's time to find some evidence that proves what the burn really means. So then, the defense will now present its evidence to the court. The evidence that demonstrates an inextricable connection between the victim's burn and this trial. Yes! What's this, Castle? Yet another print? Oh, get ready. There's probably a fourth photograph coming up soon, if I had to guess. Right. Probably. <laughs> right. <laughs> Yes, Your Excellency, I believe photographic prints are an amazing event invention. When we humans look at a scene, we miss things. But in a photograph, things we may have overlooked at the time are recorded forevermore. Do hurry up, rookie! What are you trying to say? To inconvenience this poor lady any further really would be quite inexcusable. Actually, we may need you to stay with us a little longer if you don't mind, Miss Brett. You see, it's very clearly visible in this other photograph. How did the victim come to have that unusually shaped burn on his wrist? The reason is recorded here forevermore. Evermore? What? How? Attention! You can't fool me with your little bluffs, boy! If that's your game, then let's see how it plays out! Show the court exactly what you mean! I need to interrupt for a sec. I, it's been bothering me the way Ouchie has been messing with his little fan because he's doing it in a manner of uh, higher authority in Japanese culture. Oh. And, and he clearly is not. Oh. The more I you see. know. The more you know. What is it in this photograph that explains the reason for the victim's burn? I just gave. I just went from giving him a. Well, my bad British voice is back, but for Prosecutor Ouchie, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> oh, I was right. Yes! Apparently. Maybe. The, the beef steak? Actually, the point is the. Oh. Actually, the point is the metal plate the steak was served on. Cast iron burns are no joke. The plate? What? Your Excellency, are you alright? As you can see, there's an emblem on the plate. I would guess it's some sort of trademark of La Carnival. Looks so tasty. Ah! Uh -huh. This emblem on the plate. That is a waste of steak. And the victim's burn. Are exactly the same shape! Da, ah! Da, da, da. For you, Nosuke. You genius! You're spot on. Which means... The victim must have suffered this burn while he was present at the restaurant. But even if that is the case, we can't know if it happened on the day in question or not. It could have been the day before, or the day before that. It most likely happened at some other unrelated time. Well, um, hmm. Objection! <clears throat> Sadly, Prosecutor Ouchie. Sadly, Prosecutor Ouchie, the chances of that are extremely slim. Uh, honestly? Why? Thanks. Uh -huh. Why? 
I'm just posturing. The outline of the burn is clearly discernible. Such a serious injury would have caused quite a commotion in the restaurant. <clears throat> Wouldn't you agree, Inspector Hosanaga? Well, I guess so, because he ended up... <clears throat> I can't imagine having missed such a terrible disaster, certainly. But, but, but... Oh, you with the butt. I always I add an extra butt. I don't know why. Ah. I would say extra butts, really. <laughs> I would say, looking at the picture of the wound, that it wasn't suffered very long ago. And although it's not particularly large burn, it's extremely well defined, as the defense just pointed out. Mm, yes, it was no. Bleh. This was no mild burn, that's for sure. Can you be more specific, Inspector? That looks like a really big ouchie. Yeah! <laughs> well, let's see. <laughs> if the plate was at around 90 degrees centigrade, a burn like that would have taken around three seconds. <laughs> it's utterly inconceivable the victim wouldn't have let out a scream of pain then. I've been investigating at the restaurant for several weeks already, but I've not heard anyone scream at all. As the head waiter of La Carnival, I can testify to that without hesitation. Yes. But you! You're a detective, not a waiter! <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! There you have it, something isn't right here. As the detective said, anyone who burnt themselves on a piping hot plate for three whole seconds would scream in pain. There's no question of that. <clears throat> and yet Inspector Hosunaga never heard the professor scream, not on that day or any before it. That's right. And the strange thing is, I didn't <laughs> skip that text. I didn't skip that text either. What is happening? What is happening? Did you accidentally push F? I wonder if my controller is pushing buttons. Okay, hang on. Yeah, modern technology being what it is. Um. Uh, Kazuma said, and yet, yeah, Inspector right. Hosunaga. Da, da, da. That's right, and the strange thing is, on the day he was shot, I didn't hear him cry out either. What are you suggesting? Well, if the professor had carelessly laid his wrist on the plate for anything like three seconds on that day... That would be far beyond careless, I think, Council. Then the rest of us in the restaurant, myself, the sergeant, and the antiques dealer, all of us would have, without any question, have heard him scream. Hmm. Wouldn't you agree, Prosecutor Ouchie? Hmm? Um, well, yes, I suppose. So the question is, why didn't a single person hear Dr. Wilson scream? Uh, I, I almost don't believe it. Well, you know, Skate, do you think... He was already dead when that burn mark happened? Then why is it relevant to the case? Postmortem? Mm-hmm. Mm. Can it or really be so true? Up on... mm. I never dreamt we'd arrive at a conclusion like this, but... I'm s what conclusion? If it's post-mortem, does it have anything to do with anything? Hmm. Starting to think that maybe... We've been led into a terrible trap. It's a trap! Where is this game going? You've fallen from my trap, Yugi! There's only one explanation I can think of to make sense of this apparent impossibility. Good. Say it for me so I don't have to figure it out myself, because I am <laughs> lost. <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! Okay, well, I'm gonna wow. go with my gut. My gut could use some filling. No man could remain silent while his wrist was burning on a piping hot plate for three whole seconds. That's clearly impossible. Apart from what in one particular situation. Council, are you suggesting what I think you're suggesting? Yes, it's only possible that he, if the man was already dead. 
Already? Dead? That. Let's. Never mind. <laughs> oh! Knowing what we know now, it's the only possible explanation. When the beefsteak was brought to Dr. Wilson's table that day, the professor was already dead. Then what was that gunshot you heard? Um, I've got a theory, but I'll hold on to it. Okay. That's, that's madness! No, this is Sparta! <laughs> <laughs> order, 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 please! Uh, I demand a cocktail! Cancel! Explain this absurd notion at once! The victim was killed by a gunshot! That's right! That's absolutely right, Your Excellency! This! This is just another ridiculous ploy by the rookie student! But clearly, he has no grasp of the facts! Objection! <laughs> No, Prosecutor Achi. It is you who has no grasp of the facts. What is happening? Oh. I beg your pardon? <laughs> as soon as it became apparent the victim had suffered that burn while at the restaurant, this whole case would turn upside down. Or have you not grasped that just yet? Er, uh. Your Excellency, the court must hear from this witness again. If it is true, as we now believe, that the victim's body was already dead before the gunshot was heard, it is highly likely that Miss Brett knows something about it. Incredible. I certainly didn't anticipate this twist of events. Me either. I'm sorry to say, Miss Brett. That you'll have to forget about your luncheon engagement. But, but your excellency! The justice system in our country may be in its infancy. But rest assured, all reasonable doubt must be dispelled before I'm prepared to pass judgment. He's good people. S since when is reasonable doubt a thing in Ace Attorney? Yeah, you pretty much have to prove that the other guy did it, right? Yeah. Thank you, Your Excellency.